Hey guys, good morning. It's about 10 a.m. and I am feeling about 75% better, which is amazing considering I literally felt like death yesterday. I was laying on the couch and in the bed and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Autumn's like swimming. I keep sitting her up and she loves to fall forward and just roll. This child's getting good at rolling, huh? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> anyway, I am feeling a lot, lot better. I mean, just complete difference. I just can't even, I can't even believe it. It's like I woke up this morning, no chills, no body aches. My tummy, my tummy, I was gonna say stomach and tummy. My tummy's still a little upset, um, but I can totally deal with that as long as I don't have the body aches or anything like that, so. I am grateful. So I'm gonna try and actually get some stuff done today. I need to go places that have a bathroom. TMI, I know, I'm sorry. You guys know what my channel is about. Um, and most places that I need to go have a bathroom. So I also was going through comments. I was like 10, literally 10 videos behind in comments. And I'm kinda, kinda glad I didn't read them when they first came out because haters be out trolling, man. I can't win to save my life, I swear. It doesn't matter what I do, who it's with, what I say, someone is always hating. And it's not even the same people. Sometimes it's the same people, but sometimes it's not the same people and it's different people and I'm just like, what in the world? So needless to say, I just don't even care anymore. <laughs> I respond to those who have questions and who are supportive and those who are not, I just don't even care. So anywho, on to be bigger and better things today. You can see this is my natural hair right now. I actually didn't put anything in it. I am thinking about getting a wet brush. A lot of you guys, we have a wet brush that I have for Maddie's hair. Um, Maddie needs a haircut so bad. Her hair is so long and like straggly. She needs a haircut really bad as well. Maybe I'll try and take her today. She's gonna be in school today and tomorrow. Yesterday was like the wrong day to leave her home, but she was already home, it was too late to take her, so I didn't have a choice. So it was one of those things like, well, you're just gonna have to stay here and hope that you don't get sick, because Autumn and I were sick. Autumn has the sniff sniffles and some explosions, but she's no longer projectile vomiting, which is good. And she seems in good spirits. She's a little warm, so she may need some Tylenol, but she seems in good spirits. She's rolling around and happy, happily playing. <laughs> That's mommy's foot. Hi. And there she goes again. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, you're so proud of yourself. Good job, mama. Anywho, I'm letting my hair dry, air dry, because I wanna go ahead and straighten it later. I wanna wear it down for a few days. And today's Wednesday. I don't know, the girls, Maddie's not, okay, Maddie's going to, I'm gonna leave her home Friday, but her school is not closed Friday for Battle of the Flowers. Emmy's out of school. Maddie has, her school has a half day. So I'm just gonna leave her out because I would rather take advantage of a full day than a half day. So she's just gonna stay home with me on Friday. So all the girls will be here on Friday. And I was thinking about going to some sort of place to swim because it's supposed to be in the 90s on Friday. So we'll have to see. I think today I'm for sure gonna go to the post office P.O. box because um, a bunch of you have been telling me to check my P.O. box and I've been so bad. So I'm gonna check my P.O. box, drop some stuff off at the post office, check on a couple packages because some packages I mailed out last week and they haven't even been delivered yet. So I'm gonna check on a couple packages um, and what else? I need to go to the bank because I have a check to deposit. Freaking checks, man. And you know what? I think, I don't know that my bank does it, but I think some banks have where you can take a picture of the check and it deposits automatically. I don't know if my bank has it though. That's kind of scary. I'm more like, I don't want the check back once I deposit it. So I don't know, we'll see. And then I need to go grocery shopping. So we'll see where the day takes us. I'm feeling a lot better, thank goodness. So I should be able to get some stuff done. Pretty irritated over here. Hashtag 
irritated. My power just went out for God knows what reason because um, it's 84 degrees and sunny, like zero clouds in the sky right now. And I was right in the middle of cutting stickers. Right in the middle of cutting stickers. And I'm just like, are you freaking kidding me? Not only did my computer shut off, I mean, the whole power went out. Everything went out. My stickers are like ruined. They're completely ruined. Okay, so I am multitasking. I am going to straighten my hair. It's uh, air dried, which is funny. I use a Tresemme taming serum, like frizz free. It's definitely not frizz free. So I'm thinking if I had put some like better products in it, it would it would look pretty nice natural. I'm gonna try that over the weekend. But today I'm gonna straighten it. I haven't worn it completely straightened. I blowed it out, blew it out the other day and that only lasted like a day since we went to the beach but I'm going to see what it looks like completely straightened so I will show you guys and I'm not going to complain about it anymore because apparently I continue to go through comments and some of you guys like straight up hate me I feel like which I don't understand because you're subscribed to my channel I, I just don't get it. If I don't like a channel, I don't like the person that's talking, I don't like what they're talking about, move on. But um, I will, for those of you that do love me and maybe are tired of hearing me talk about my hair, I will refrain from talking about it. It's growing on me for sure. I'm definitely learning how to style it, seeing the different ways that I like it, and as it grows out, I will get layers and get it thinned out. So there's that. But anyway, Autumn's taking a nap. Um, she was super tired and fussy. I knew she didn't needed a nap. I was just trying to hold her off until she ate. She ate, now she's down for a nap. I'm hoping she sleeps for a few hours. I'm gonna straighten my hair. I'm multitasking, cutting some stickers. Hopefully the power doesn't go out again. <laughs> cutting some stickers while I'm straightening my hair. So, let's get to this. Looking good, looking good. I did notice it's pretty uneven. <laughs> I guess I don't know if it's because it was cut while it was curly and he didn't touch it up after because I was already complaining that it was short but it's pretty uneven but that's okay most of the time I wear it curly or blown out and it's not a big deal I like it straight it's cute so 47 no 46 minutes is how long it took me from start to finish with doing I think I switched out stickers like five or six times and that took me three to four minutes each time to switch out stickers so let's say I did it five times then I mean I'd say I'd finish my I would have I just did only straightening nothing else I could have straightened my hair in about 25 minutes not bad oh you don't have any open orders any open orders I'm so excited I hear somebody is away you're like banging on things. Good morning. Hi, mama. Good morning. What are you doing in here? Huh, my beautiful. Look at the teeth. Look at the teeth. Good morning. How are you feeling? Nice and cool. You feeling good? Uh -huh. They got little maquitas. Ah, this jammy, I put it on her and didn't realize. Oh my gosh, it's got a big old stain. Wow! <laughs> Good morning, my gorgeous. Good morning. You ready for some papita? Who's ready for papita? Yes. Say, that wasn't just a stain, Mom. That wasn't just a stain. <laughs> we got poop explosion. Oh, you think that's funny? I'm like moseying around the house and, you know, getting Autumn's bag together, getting the orders that I have and all these things. Look at the clock. I'm like, ah, it's three o'clock. Come on, Autumn. We gotta go. So, Autumn walked to the car by herself. No, but really, I put her in her car seat way quicker than I ever had had and I am in carpool line 303 and I'm not the last car there are two cars behind me woo woo so I'm gonna go to the post office PO box right after I pick up Emmy 
I'm gonna try and feed Autumn while I'm there. I gave her baby food before we left the house, so I'm hoping that tides her over. And then when we get to the post office, three cars behind me, three. Um, when we get to the post office, I'm gonna try and feed her her bottle. And then if I have time, I haven't heard from Andres. Maddie's at school, and I think for dinner tonight, we're gonna do Alfredo. I got a question, I don't know, some vlog asking about what we're gonna do with all the heavy whipping cream. Mondras made this potato soup that's like the Zopa Toscana from um, Olive Garden. Freaking amazing, he did such a good job. And so we used part of the whip whipping cream for that, or the heavy whipping cream, and then the rest of it, or most of it, we're going to use for Alfredo sauce, homemade Alfredo sauce tonight. So, we're gonna have that for dinner tonight with that bag of salad that I have left over in the fridge. But I kind of, because I'm waiting for him to get home to do that, I kind of want to, four cars, four. I kind of want to stop by Target if I have a chance. Uh, we'll see if that ends up happening or not. I don't know, after I go, I'll see how the post office, if it's crazy. And then we'll see if we get to go to Target. At the post office, busting out the big laundry basket guns. You, you guys remember when I used to take my orders? Oh, I almost swallowed my gum in a laundry basket. Well, I have the gigantic laundry basket this time. And he's pushing on him. I didn't meet you. You too, little mama. Hi. Hi. Okay, so I finally checked my P.O. box and I have this, which I have no idea who it's from. It's from somebody, because this says, um, there's a note on this side. So, let's give this guy an open. Oh, they're flowers. Yeah, you know what, I got an email. She said she went to Dollar Tree and found these. She, but you know what I had I already got a message or an email about this um, saying that they weren't the right ones but you know what Sadie that is so so sweet like to even ship this <laughs> over here let's see where are you from let me see um, California like just to even ship these two flowers that are from Dollar Tree that is just like the shipping costs more than the flowers and that warms my heart so so much thank you even though these aren't the right which she already knew they weren't the right flowers these are wisterias the other ones that i had were delphiniums so she knew that she emailed me and said that but just the thought oh my gosh it's so sweet i just oh i just can't with you guys i love you i swear so i will find somewhere to put these mark my words ma'am thank you so much sadie and i got so many cards so many cards and a lot of them I will give quick shout outs to everyone because a lot of them are letters saying you know that you love my videos and all of these things what is this hi Melissa I got a pair of these jellies and thought you had to have a pair to match your girls when you find some for Emmy thanks for being you loved your channel for years love Amber legally brunette oh my gosh this is why you were telling me to check my P.O. box. Oh my gosh. Melissa and Kim Campana. Oh. OMG. You guys are so freaking sweet. What in the world? I have never seen adult jellies. I am so excited to try these on. How fun are these? I love them. I hope they fit. I have kind of a wide foot, so I'm a little nervous. I don't know what size they are, though. It doesn't say, so I don't know. I'm going to have to try my... Oh, a nine. It does say hello. A nine. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so, so much. Amber, really, like, you did not have to send me these. That is so stinking sweet. I... I'm just like baffled. Oh my goodness, I love them. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you, Sadie for the flowers. Thank you, Amber for the shoes. Oh my goodness, I've never felt so special. They come in a bag and everything. Oh my goodness. I am seriously about to fall. What in the world? 
I have the best subscribers. Like just when I was reading comments and having like a crappy day about the comments, I just, I knew, I knew I should go to my PO box. I just love you guys. I freaking love you guys. And Annabelle, thank you so much for your sweet card all the way from California. This one was from Yolanda from California. I have a lot of viewers in California. Um, Harris family. Oh, this is, you know what? This one was a um, Girl Scout. Alyssa. Thanks so much, Alyssa. This is super cute. I like how you wrote everyone's name and she's a Girl Scout. Super sweet. Wow. And Ellie from Arkansas and Christy from Alabama. Oh my gosh, you guys, you just totally know how to make my day. Oh, thank you. I'm trying the jellies on right now. They fit. Oh, they fit. How exciting. Talk about bad luck. <laughs> I well, it could be worse, but I came to use, um, I, I don't know, at some point, when did I get this? 326, I came to pump gas at HEB and I went ahead and bought a car wash because you get a dollar off when you get the car wash. So it's normally $9, I bought the $8, or I bought the $9 wash and I got it for $8. It expired yesterday. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> uh, story of my life. So now I'm in line, I can either back up and look like I got here in the wrong, oh, in the wrong, Oh, my hair's stuck. I got uh, here in the wrong lane, or I can pay again for another car wash. I'm so mad at myself. And I thought to myself after the coast, I was like, oh, I really need to get this. But I was dying yesterday, so that wasn't going to happen. I cannot believe it expired one day ago. What are you gonna do? Amber, I love them. They're so super cute. They fit great. They really conform to your feet and they're super comfortable. Like you would think they wouldn't be, but they are. Thank you. I really have been wanting a Dutch oven. This is such a pretty color. I've been wanting to find one in red just cause all of our kitchen appliances are red. That's such a pretty color. And look at this tiny one. So cute. So this one is 5.2 quarts. I don't know what this one is. I would guess like a cup, <laughs> like two cups, but it's so tiny. Oh, so cute. I was just complaining about the car wash, right? Because apparently everyone thinks all I do is complain. We had to stop at H-E-B to get Emmy's fruit and I'm a bad mom and just bought the pre-made tray, which is so much more so much more expensive than buying the fruit and chopping it up myself for her fruit kebabs. So I got the fruit tray and the skewers and I just decided at checkout to ask the guy. I was like, hey, you know, I was at the car wash. I bought the car, wa uh, car wash about a month ago and it expired yesterday. Is there any way I could get a refund or something for it? I said, you know, or it's not really a huge deal, but I just thought I would ask. And he was like, you know what, let me ask somebody. So he brought the manager and I told him, I was like, it's totally fine, like it's my fault. I knew the expiration date. I had looked at it when I bought the ticket, so. I should have been the one that was a little bit more careful. And he's like, well, let me call and ask. So he made a couple phone calls and sure enough, he got me the ticket. All I have to do is turn in my voucher that I had for the car wash into the HEB gas place. They're gonna give me a new one. It never hurts to ask. That is the life lesson here. Never hurts to ask. The worst that can be said is no, right? You know what? They're not the same flowers, but I stuck them in there anyway. <laughs> they don't look that bad. I mean, from afar, it just kind of looks like an arrangement, right? Thanks, Sadie. Love them. Having the family over for dinner for some pasta. We got some whole wheat penne, homemade alfredo sauce, some chicken. We got some garlic. Actually, we have some garlic over here. And we got some broccoli heating up in the microwave. And Autumn's eating her bottom. This is the cookie dough that I had made from the other day. So I'm just cutting some perfectly round well, they're kind of square and not round. But some cookies for dessert tonight for the family. I know. No, I don't have any coconut. Emmy wrapped up mom and grandma Bob. And Maddie Maddie's begging for food. We have to make sure we have enough fruit. When grandma's done, if there's fruit left over, you can have some more, okay? Maddie just had a whole bunch of dinner and a cookie. And she's over there begging grandma for food. 
You know, I'd like to, but we have to have enough for everybody. Not food. Did I say food? Fruit. And Emmy has these shish kebabs, uh, or fruit kebabs, for tomorrow. No more cookies, Maddie. Uh, for tomorrow's fiesta party. And she wrapped, gra roped Grandma and Grandma Bob into helping. Oh, is that what you call it? <laughs> We're not going to have enough if we don't. Good night, see you tomorrow. Maddie, we forgot to say good night, see you tomorrow. Oh, good night, see you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow. Okay, so obviously I did not have a very long vlog to edit. I actually edited it earlier. Edited it. it. That always trips me up when I say that. But I finished it earlier, so I am going to upload it, but it's like six minutes long. So I apologize. Even though I apologized yesterday, I apologize again for that. I hope you guys understand, and I hope that the comments are kind of receptive. I actually, like, my faith was brought back in humanity on the vlogs where we were on vacation at the beach because all of them were positive, no negativity, and I love that. Not that I think that everything is like rainbows and butterflies. I tell the girls all the time, you know, and, and that everything is always rainbows and butterflies. Sometimes there are bad things that happen, and you know, whatever. I no, obviously the same thing. I'm not always going to get great feedback and positive comments and that's totally fine. I get that. But sometimes it's like when the negativity comes in, it floods in and nothing I say or do or put out there is right. Somebody has something to say about it. And so last couple of videos have been really, really positive. So I appreciate that for those to those of you that always keep things positive or if you give me criticism it's constructive I really appreciate that those of you that don't well uh opinions are like you know what everybody has one what are you gonna do so anyway I'm trying to catch up on some shows I swear my DVR is at 21% and shows just record every single day so it's like i watch one and one's recording so i can't even get a percent back because i'm watching them and deleting them and it's i'm not the type of person like on the desk is the type of person that he's asleep right over there in case you're wondering you may hear him snore in the background um he will watch the show and then leave it so like if he doesn't have anything to watch at a later date he'll watch it again i am not like that half the time i forget what's going on like i was watching the challenge right now and last week's episode didn't record so i was like oh my gosh how did they get down to four people i had to really think about where what happened in the last episode but if i kept everything that records for me there's no freaking way and then when it it's like when it rains it pours because I'll have one show, you know, like Little Women of LA. And now it's Little Women of Dallas, Little Women of Atlanta, Little Women of, well, New York, I haven't seen in a while. But, you know, it's like constantly a bunch of the same shows start, like, they have the spring time when they start, and then they have the fall or the win winter specials. And so everything is recording at once, and I don't have enough room. So I just can't even catch up. And a lot of my shows aren't appropriate to watch. I mean, Autumn doesn't know any better. But when Maddie and Emmy are here, especially Emmy. Maddie, she's still kind of at that age where she's a little oblivious to kind of everything. Especially Maddie. That is going on. But Emmy definitely is not. She, even if I think she's not watching or paying attention, she is. So I have to really be careful what is on TV, what I'm watching on my phone, things like that. Because she's super intuitive and nosy let's be frank and she will ask like my aunt was showing me a video earlier and it had a girl kind of screaming in it and just like minutes later she's like who was screaming on the video and i was like oh, mind your business so anyway needless to say when i'm here during the day or just when i'm here in general i'm doing stuff around the house or i'm playing with autumn i'm not really that worried about tv unless i'm just having a lazy day and then by the time the girls get home it's i'm not gonna watch anything in front of them and then when they go to bed i'm usually editing and andres is down here watching his shows and then i usually go to bed and watch netflix so my shows just pile up and pile up and pile up up. so he was like why don't you watch a few things so I'm probably gonna have to get down to just deleting things because I don't want the DVR to run out of room because he has shows that are, that are important to him as well so also if you have direct TV there's an app where you can watch the shows on your phone but I haven't figured out how to do that yet so maybe that's something that I'll have to do eventually as well and get myself some headphones well I have them but I hate that the little jack is like the charger because if I'm wanting to charge the phone, 
then where are my headphones supposed to go? You know, it's kind of weird. Anywho, I'm also reading an email from Charity on cruise tips, which I've only got through about half of it, but so far I'm loving the cruise tips. If you guys have any other cruise slash vacation trips with kids, let me know in the comments down below. We for sure have already booked the cruise and I'm hoping nothing happens and we end up getting it. Andres has kind of been looking at switching his career up so if that happens like that's why i haven't booked disney because obviously if that happens we're not gonna that's not gonna happen in june and august the august cruise has already been booked and paid for so i'm kind of hoping it'll work out <laughs> but we're planning on it like it's gonna work out so if you have any other cruise i mean she gave me so many amazing tips so many amazing tips and of course I'll be vlogging everything. I think it's a five day cruise, so I think what I'm gonna end up doing, cause let's be real, four months is gonna fly like nothing. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is, I don't know about the internet and stuff, I may just vlog while I'm there and then edit and upload everything when I come home. Anyway, it doesn't really matter, that's in a few months. So I'm going to try and catch up on a few more shows and hit the sack. I will be uploading the vlog shortly. Tomorrow I'm gonna hang out with Steph I have no idea what we're doing. And then Emmy has those fruit kebabs that you saw earlier. She has a fiesta party tomorrow at 1.45 that I'll be going to in her class. So that'll be fun. And then she'll get to come home. And then tomorrow night, I don't think we have any plans. And then Friday, both of the girls are out of school. Maddie's actually out a half day, but I'm going to keep her out the whole day. Um, so... I think we're gonna try and go, like I mentioned earlier, somewhere to go swim. So that'll be super fun. I am going to get off here because I feel like every single vlog for the last few months at the end of it have been me talking for like 10 minutes of my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed today and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.